All right, guys, welcome back. Huge game coming up against the Wild here tonight. Not so much because it's the Wild, nor is it because uh, supposedly this is a Wednesday night rivalry. No, uh, the Minnesota Wild so far this season is the team to beat. Look at that record, 16-2-2, as opposed to our 8-10-0 here. I mean, this would be a really sweet two points to just put in the bag right here and get a second win in a row after that losing streak. If you enjoyed this series, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, crap. And me just taking a penalty there right off the bat. What the hell was I thinking on that one? Here we go. Back to Spurgeon. A little bit of giving go with Shooter down low. And the, oh, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, shot pretty much from the goal line right there. And thankfully, Jake Allen staying awake and managing to cover that one up. And there you go. Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, yeah, sure, man. I'm, I'm, I'm diving for the puck. But if that's a trip. Holy, so yeah. All right, well, uh, if you guys could just kill this one off, that'd be real sweet. All right, guys, all right. Nice one. Here we go, here we go. All right. All right, where's the puck? Where's the puck? Okay, that is going to be an offside as Coyle comes in over the line prematurely. And uh, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm going to be going to the bench for this one. All right, all right, okay. Still not getting too many shots on goal here. We'd like that to change, all right. Okay, offensive zone draw, just squeezing that guy out. And now, oh, they were right to his own goaltender right there. And that one is bounced to the half boards there. Sedin comes back the other way. Here we go, breaking it out for Pominville. In over the line, I got a back check, got a back check. All right, Sedin on the puck. Broken play right there. Pominville, this shot! And that one goes in off the iron. I'm not sure whether or not it was the crossbar or the post. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, man, if that didn't go top shelf, uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that one. I don't think Jake got, I need to see this one again. All right, broken play, obviously. I'm going down to block that one. I, I, I don't get in the lane. And I'm not sure Jake Allen, he's not looking all that great on that play. Either that or it's a C9 shot. But uh, all the same, we're down one to nothing here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Scandella just finding Pominville. He can break this one out. In over the line, handing it off to Sedin. All right, here we go. Trying to get in front of that one. And uh, Sedin picking this one up yet again here, curling around on the half wall as Tarasenko comes across and lowers the boom. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Walking in. Oh, man. Holy mother of Jesus freaking Christ. What a glove save! The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot. God damn it! I thought I had him beat on that one. Makes the stop, and he's able to. Jesus! All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Heading into the first intermission, 20 minutes played, and down one to nothing here. And it's not like we've been outplayed in the first. I don't think these guys have been having the upper hand. I think we've had our opportunities as well. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I didn't see these guys with too many open scoring opportunities either, except of course for that Pominville goal right there. And oh, ooh. you know, looking at that one again, I was kind of hoping it went in off the crossbar, but it just goes in off the post instead. And Jake Allen. Ah, not looking all that pretty on that one. Look at, oh, D-plus on overall. Jesus Christ. Man, coach is going to bench me for the remainder of the game if I'm not careful. All right, well, here we go. Here we go. One goal game still. And these guys, you know, they're the top docs of the NHL this season here. So I guess just hanging with these guys for so long is an accomplishment in itself. All right, play headed the other way. Parise coming through the neutral zone. That one is taken away. All right, here. Yeah, trying to find Petrangelo. But that one goes right off the boards instead. Parise picking it up behind the net. Here we go. Here we go. Taking away the front of the net as Tarasenko can intercept this one. Here we go. Play headed the other way. Handing it off for Steen. He dumps this one behind the net. All right, going to the. Ah, for fuck's sake. I me. Mean, I had that one under control. What, what, am I, what am I supposed to do here? His play hits the other way. Here we go. Parise walking in. Taking a shot. And that one. Jake Allen staying awake for this one, thankfully, as it almost squeezes right through his pass right there. And apparently, I'm leading the team in points. There are six goals and 15 assists. And uh, that pretty much tells you what kind of sad state of affairs this team is in. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Where's the puck? All right. And Pareko picking it up in the corner. All right, finding Steen, breaking this one out. Here we go, I'm in support guy. All right, just dumping this one behind the net. Steen going to the corner, charging in there, coming away with the puck. Tarasenko right in front. Oh, man, just getting checked off the puck the last second there. Tarasenko goes to the board with uh, Scandella. I believe it was. That's going to be a penalty right there. That's a hooking call behind the net. Tarasenko walking out in front, but somebody just getting a stick on that one at the very last second, and uh, he just ends up whiffing on the puck. 
instead. Uh, didn't look like he had too much of an angle though, but uh, this was okay. that's uh, that's some nice forechecking going on right there. That's a hooking call. All right, so the coach changed that up. At least we didn't see any forechecking at all There's in the first couple of minutes here of the second period, night. but uh, apparently that's changed now. All right, well, here we go. Just squeezing that guy. Stay with the shot. That one goes off the shoulder of Dubnik. All right, here we go. Here we go. Looking in front. Stern! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The power play yet again, our bread and butter this season. Man, we need to get, we need to draw more penalties. That's just going to be our game plan from here on out. Get on the freaking power play and cash it. Jesus. Man, I need to go look at the percentage for the next bit because it, it's got to be, it's got to be close to 25%, if not more. We've had an outstanding power play so far this season. A great one. I'm, I'm not sure how that one actually makes it across. Just appears to go through everybody. All right, here we go. Where's the puck? Where's the puck? All right, we got this one. Here we go. Steen in on the line. All right, being chased. Going to the corner behind the net. He's still got it right in front for Tarasenko. And that one is stopped by Dubnik behind the net. Somebody finding Coyle on the half wall, skating this one out and dumping it in. As we got, uh, who's that? Bowman's are trying to charge into the corner, pick this one up. He didn't come away with it. Here we go. Wild putting on the pressure. Back for Coyle. Riley down for Stahl. Curling around, dumping it behind the net. I got the center of the ice. Got the slot. Got the slot. Taking away the pass. Here we go, back for Suter, and curling around one more time, getting away from one, getting away from two, behind the net, these guys putting on the pressure right now, Stahl with a shot, as that one is stopped, the rebound comes right in front, I can pick that one up though, here we go, here we go, breaking it out for Tarasenko, coming back two on two, in on the line, a little bit of speed right there, here we go, ah, get the fuck out of my way, for fuck's sake, ah, crap, I'm just going to be off on a change here. Oh, man, we just give the puck away instantly once we enter the zone. And that one went off a skate, thankfully. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. 40 minutes played, all tied at one. Heading into the second intermission, we managed to cash on the power play. And like I said, that's pretty much been the only part of our game so far this season that's actually seemed to work out. I mean, special teams in general, PK hasn't been looking good. Five on five production has been absolutely horrible. Our goaltending's been shit. We're giving up way too many shots per game. And basically, every single stat has been against us so far this season except the power play as we continue to be successful with the extra man here. All right, losing too many draws as it is. Here we go, here we go. Facing off against Koibu yet again, winning that one. Back for Shat and Kirk. Here we go, that one goes right off the skate of Steen. He's got it again on the half hole. Here we go, walking in the back and the rebound, and that one is stopped by Dubnik as he has to cover this one up. Why did he go backhand on that one? He had the, could have gone forehand. He had the entire left side to shoot at coming across right there. All right, here we go, here we go, losing that one. Suter finding Koibu. He's going to break this one out. Here we go, putting on the Jets, finding Parise on the wing as he just gets absolutely pasted coming in on the line. Here we go, Petrangelo. Going to the boards with whoever. Coming away with a puck right there. That one went off a skate yet again. Ah, oh, crap. Well, putting on the pressure. That one has stopped. Here we go. Here we go. Nita Ryder's got this one. Going to the boards with, uh, who's that? Petrangelo down there. I can't see it. Here we go. That one bounces clear. And again, you know, Koivu getting right on this one. Here we go. Back to Spurgeon. Give and go with Suter. That one is blocked. Parise on the puck. Looking in front of the... <laughs> Holy crap, here we go, here we go. Just giving this one a good whack, and that one's going to go all the way down the ice. And we need to head to the bench, beat the icing call right here, but uh, while getting there first, so we're not going to be seeing any of that either way. All right, all right, where's the puck? All right, we got this one, breaking it out. Tarasenko is going to have to back pass. Shattenkirk fighting Petrangelo, breaking this one out, handing it off for Steen, and on the line, that one is poked away as Coyle can break this one out for the Wild, coming through the neutral zone, dumping this one way into the zone there as we got Petrangelo coming back to pick this one up. That one goes off my skate, and just passing behind the net here, looking for support. Anybody going to move? Anybody? Come on, for fuck's sake. All right, here we go. Breaking it out for Steen, and over the line. All right, here we go, trying to go wide with this one just dumping it behind the net we got two guys double teaming this one here we go Steen looking out in front he could have taken a shot back to Shattenkirk Schmaltz with a shot it deflected right on and that one holy crap a rebound right there that one squirts right to Dupnik as he can cover this one up yet again and I'm not sure whether or not the first top, uh, first shot was tipped right there, but uh, it was certainly a screen in front as Tarasenko gets a, an extra whack at it right there but uh Devin Dupnik standing tall yet again here. We've seen both goaltenders be pretty good in this one. Jay Gallon's been equally good. All right, here we go. Oh, crap, losing that one. Parise coming back. 
Coming through the neutral zone. All right, and on the line. Dumping this one behind the net. And we are, for fuck's sake, how the hell can you overskate the puck like that? Nita Ryder with the shot. That one is blocked. Goes to the half wall on the other side. Here we go. Parise on the puck. That one is broken up. Schmal's breaking this one out, hopefully. Finding Pareko. Here we go. And handing it off. For, why am I playing with the uh, third line all of a sudden? I got to get to the bench. I'm being overplayed right now. Defensive play by Schwartz. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, Tarasenko breaking this one out. Clutch time. No shit there, coach. All right. Posse waiting for support. Dumping it in. That one misses everybody. Steen charging in there, but he's too late for this one. Spurgeon can break it out for Parise. Play hit it the other way. I got this guy. Got this guy. Got the backdoor pass. Here we go. That one goes behind the net. And just getting a piece of that guy. Didn't see who that was, but just shoving him off the puck right there. As Tarasenko can break this one out. In on the line. Taking a shot. And that's going to be an offside. And, uh, well, thankfully, we didn't see a fight coming up. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Okay, winning this one cleanly. Schmaltz, what the hell are you doing just dumping the puck in right there? And I'm, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter, I'm going to be heading off on a change here where the puck is 200 feet away. Continuing on in the defensive zone. Knocks it away with the stick. All right, here we go, here we go. 35 seconds remaining, puck in their end. All right, Spurgeon on the puck, here we go. Uh, breaking this one out way too easily. Got to back check. Don't make any mistakes right now. Here you go back to Parise. Nita Ryder with a shot, and that one squirts right in front as it came off a leg. All right, I got this one. Got this one behind the net. Here we go. Oh, trying to get away from one. Just being checked off the puck here momentarily and being poor play. Kicking it up on the wing there. That one is picked up by Parise. He's got it on the half wall. 13 seconds remaining. Give and go with Spurgeon. A shot, and that one is stopped by Allen. Goes to the corner. Eight seconds remaining. Wild coming back with the puck right here. Parise walking in, and that one goes wider than that. Nita Ryder picking it back up in the corner, and another shot. And that one ends up right on my stick in front of the cage as time runs out and this game is headed to overtime as we're drawn heavily on the play of Jake Allen here in the third, effectively earning us that one point right there. At least we got the loser point in hand uh, in case we don't make it to the shootout because there's absolutely no way we're going to be winning it in, in OT. Our only opportunity to win this game is actually get to the shootout, which we're, in turn, we've been pretty good. All right, well, here we go. Here we go. Facing off against Koivu again. Got this guy under control now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Winning that one. Back for Shattenkirk. All right, Petrangelo. Went over the line. Ah, trying to go to the middle. Here we go. Oh, man. That one is poked away at the last second. All right, Petrangelo, he's got it again. Here we go, curling around. Back for Shatton, Kirk Petrangelo. All right, fighting me, and that one goes off the outside of the net there. All right, here we go, curling away from one. Come on, somebody get in front, somebody get in front. Oh, man, uh, not like in front like that. As Brodeen can break this one up, and I just managed to poke that one away. Here we go, here we go, putting on the pressure. Back for Shatton, Kirk one more time. Looking for Petrangelo, and that one is stopped by Dubnik. All right, all right, here we go. Wild regroup. Oh, fuck, the bench is on the other side. This is going to be a long change, and somebody just, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't see anything where's the puck where's the puck as Petrangelo can skate this one out thankfully holy shit all right all right here we go here we go 42 seconds remaining worse oh crap it's gonna be a crappy change here we go here we go gotta back check gotta back check gotta back check all right I got this one that one's broken up here we go coil protein with oh fuck <laughs> oh man <laughs> Uh, I kind of had that feeling the entire time coming off the bench late. I just figured this was going to be a crappy change, and as per usual, you know, a loose puck. Where is it going to end up? Yeah, you guessed it, an AI stick in your own zone happens every time. We poke it away uh, at least twice, I think, and that one, ah, that's a pretty good shot right there. Just goes over the shoulder, or the blocker, rather, of uh, Jake Allen. He's been playing a good game. We can't blame him for this. Obviously, this is OT. You know, anything can happen here three on three. And uh, other than that first goal, I don't think he looked all that great on the first goal, but after that, he really seemed to get his game together. And our, our only problem here tonight is that Devin Dubnik at the other end was just equally good. And, uh, yeah, you know, this one could have gone either way. I'm pretty happy with it. it this, this doesn't feel like any of the uh, other losses that we've suffered so far this season with a ton of simmed goals and a lot of crappy bounces or anything like that. It hasn't been like that at all. This was a pretty good game. Low scoring, but a pretty good game all the same. I'm pretty happy with this one. This is, you know, games like this it just keeps me coming back to this game because, to be perfectly honest, NHL 17, in terms of be a pro at the very least, is not a very good game compared to NHL 16, unfortunately. All right, well, here we go. Looking at the stats, being outshot 35-30, to 30, going one for one with the man advantage, killing our only penalty and these guys apparently had a breakaway. We didn't get to see that, so it must have happened uh, during one of the um, 
sim face is right there. But uh, all right, so we got the loser point out of this one. I guess that's a positive. Jake Allen getting the first star here tonight. A very strong outing indeed. Devin Dupnik, no surprise there, getting the second star. He played a great game too. And Brodeen with the game winner right there in OT gets the third star. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check back soon. Bye-bye.